Hi, welcome back to this section of the Circuit Playground Express online workshop. In this section, we're going to learn about how to use external devices with the Circuit Playground Express. There's really no limit of things that you can connect to your Circuit Playground Express, and you can really unlock a huge potential in new projects once you get away from the sensors just on the board, which there are a lot to work with there. So let's take a look at what we're going to see. I'll show you how to use an external light strip and an external servo with the Circuit Playground. These are driven these are driven by a light sensor and are both returning the light level in the room. And I have a servo driving probably the world's most useless gauge. All right, so let's take a look at how we're gonna do it in MakeCode. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is using external strips with MakeCode. We'll go into light and then as soon as we click on light, a new option appears and it's NeoPixel. And this is how we do strips off the board. And the first thing we need to do is grab whatever animation we want to use for the strip. And all the same functions are available as the, that are available for the ring that we've probably used already. But and then a few extras that are specific to light strips. And I guess you'd know them when you need them. I don't want to get too distracted by those now. So we'll say we're going to graph the lights, a light strip, and we're, we want to graph the light level like we saw. So I'll grab light level and we'll say we'll graph it up to 70. So from this alone, the light strip won't work because we haven't told the program where the light strip is on the Circuit Playground Express. So we need to go back into light. Um, sorry, we need to get it go to variables. And as soon as you put something down that takes a strip, we'll get the strip variable will appear in variables. So we then need to set our strip. So an on start um, block is the best way to do this. So we'll set our strip to, and we'll go back to our lights now. And we grab this second bubble, which is create a strip. So we'll set the variable strip to create a new strip and I have it connected to A2, and it's five pixels. So now we've, in, we've told our board where the strip lives, and we can use, you can reference it using this variable strip anywhere else, ever, anywhere else that it appears in the code. We can also do things like set the brightness of the strip, and we do that on, on start as well if we want to set up the strip and initialize it, and then, then we just need to put our strip effects in our forever loop. So that'll that'll get our strip going. It's it's all quite quite simple and very very similar to using just the ring. Now let's talk about other external devices. So if we want to use something else besides a light strip, we go into advanced and then pins. And here we can communicate through any pin we choose through either digital or analog signals, pulses, or we can do serial communications through the pins as well. Or in this case, we're going to use servos. So this is a pretty standard servo. So we'll use the servo write command. And I'll put that in a forever loop. Our servos connected to pin A1. And this number in the servo, uh, the servo value here, is going to represent the angle that the servo is positioned at. So when you change that number, it will move to whatever degrees the number is here. So 180 is its current position on bright, and zero would be on dark. So we want to get our light level to be translated into servo motion, but our light level returns a number between zero and 255. So we're gonna use the map function in math. And that changes um, one range of numbers to another range of numbers. And it just keeps the relative value the same. So we'll get our light level again. We'll say from low to, and no, it will return from 0 to 255, but I checked earlier and it's reading here at about 40 in the room for this level of brightness. So I'm going to say 40 is bright, 0 is not bright at all, and from low to high will be 0 to 180. So when the light level returns a number between 0 and 40, it's going to translate that to a number between 0 and 180. So that wraps up this sketch. We'll take a look at it one more time. 
So we're reading the light level in the room, and it's returned on this strip using the graph function. When we cover up the signal, the uh, light sensor, servo turns towards zero. When we let go, it goes back to bright at about 180. And if I pass my hand somewhere in the middle, it moves, moves around a little bit. So that wraps up this section on using external devices with your Circuit Playground Express. Stick around, in the next section we're going to learn how to use the console.